Good morning once again, dearly beloved. This is another wonderful day that the Lord has made. A new day and a new dawn. And we praise God for what He has done. In the name of the Lord, the Lord has done. The Lord has done. The Lord has done. The Brian won't come with you near the Asadamon and Copon. And only idea in here, the greatest miracle that I always say is the gift of life. It doesn't matter that you didn't have a good sleep, it doesn't matter that throughout the whole night you were just tossing left and right, as long as you are alive, it's a great miracle. And we thank God for a new day. As you have this new day, there is always a promise for your life. Praise the Lord. This morning, I want to go through the word of God once again. And we go to John chapter 14. John chapter 14. And it goes, it said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. This was an answer that Jesus was giving to John, uh, Peter when he asked Jesus Christ in John chapter 13, verse 36, and he said, Where are you going? And Jesus Christ began to answer him. And this is also goes for all of us as children of God. I'm not talking about heaven, but I'm talking about what Jesus Christ said. Let not your heart be troubled. As long as we live on this earth, one important thing is the fact that you believe in Jesus Christ, then you must know that no matter the trouble and the storm of this world, peace will still be still in your life. Amen. So Jesus Christ said, if only you can trust and believe in God and also believe in Jesus Christ, then anything that troubles your mind and your heart, there shall be peace. This morning, I want to tell you, do not trouble in your hearts. What is troubling you? What is giving you heartache? What is worrying in your mind? Why is it that you want to achieve and you have not been able to be successful? I want you to know, let peace of God be stored in your life. Mawa asum jwe. Adofo no, me pese wo te ase ye se, Yesu Christo no o kasache ene sunya fo no. Nye ne te ene se, wano wano watna, afe de Yesu so wo ko. Nanka wano susu se, wano wani da so wo yina asa. Nen so, Yesu Christo kachere wano se, ema wako men tutu, ema obo wano hao. So ube ji Yesu Christo e di, nwa jo nyanku pungwe di di ha, nia e hao, Ni ama wakumatie, ni ama wajini boom, ni ama unhu unyanku pon ani mo nyamni ni na ano unyanku pon se asumujia e free yeni Jesus Christ asono ebe ya wodiya ano pay why na nakuma aboto why na dajuni adosu wano so why na bribi a wanti mi ni wana sitri mo ne me mu manunti nakuma e ano unyanku pon a se mi se kwa kuma to yemo there is peace that is in Christ Jesus. There is tranquility that is in Christ Jesus. And so I want to assure you that as you continue to believe in Jesus Christ and believe in God, have this at the back of your mind. Do not allow your heart to be troubled. For Jesus will surely grant unto us our heart desire. Sometimes it may keep long, but the most important thing is that remember, do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. Have faith in Christ Jesus and he will do it. Fear not. The Lord is about to cause his glory to be seen in your life this morning. Shalom, peace. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that peace comes from you. Our trust and our faith come from you. So as many that are hearing my voice, let this word echo in their spirits that they should not be troubled in their heart. If there's anyone who is being troubled, I speak the peace of God into his life. And I say that as he trusts you, Jesus Christ and God, 
May the peace that surpasses every understanding be upon you. May you receive the peace of God. Do not be troubled, for the Lord is in charge of your life. In Jesus' name.